Savannah's only professional sports team wants a new $35 million stadium or else it might be leaving. This comes as the city has already committed millions to building a new entertainment arena. Sandnet's owners met with city leaders today to pitch the idea. WJCL's Nick Dottario was there. Nick, city council members, are they really considering this project? Well, they are, and they kind of have to be. Grayson Stadium, well, no minor league team plays in a stadium that's older than it. Plus, this ballpark wouldn't be one just used for baseball. Sitting in Savannah's Daffin Park, Grayson Stadium has housed baseball for nearly 90 years. But it may not be home to professional sports soon because the Sand Nats want the city to help them build a new $35 million stadium downtown here off of President Street. A venue not just used for baseball, but one that could support concerts and other events. But it's a steep price to some people. I'm not sure if a new stadium is terribly needed. I think it would be cool for them to um, move downtown. Team owners pitched the idea to City Council today and showed off a video highlighting the success of a ballpark they built in Indiana. If approved, Savannah could be on the hook for nearly $2 million a year for the next three decades, and with interest, the stadium could cost nearly $60 million, an amount city leaders are worried about, especially with plans to build a new entertainment arena to replace the Civic Center. Our funds are so limited at this time. You know, and we have made commitments. Are you telling the city, if you don't give us a stadium, the Sand Nats are leaving Savannah? No, I mean, our job is not, or our MO is not, we're not threatening people or anything like that. The reality is that um, the team has really struggled at Grace, and it's struggled for more than a decade. This is where the Sand Nats want to put a new stadium with the Savannah River as a backdrop. It's a site they say could develop much better than the current location because right next door is downtown Savannah. The city has spent millions upgrading Grayson, but team owners say it's not good enough and hopes the city considers this before their contract to play here runs out next year. We'll need to make a decision at some point in the none too distant future. City Council wants to do a study before any decisions are made. The team would pay for it too, mainly by picking up the million dollar yearly operational cost of the new park. Another thing, the city agrees, to, if the city agrees to do this, they told them minor league baseball would guarantee to keep a professional sport in the host city for the next 30 years. Oh, wow. no. So a lot riding on this and we'll, we'll have the results of the study hopefully before the end of next season and the Nats leave. Yeah, we'll see if city leaders step up to the plate on this one. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome.